Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this video is probably going to go up really really late. I usually upload these weekly check-in videos on Mondays but there's just been a lot going on. If you guys don't know, I'm actually recording this from Peru. Um, you guys will see some videos after these that I pre-recorded back at home but I've been in Peru for about a little under two weeks and it's been super fun, but I have not had that much time to film, so I really hope you guys understand. I was supposed to actually have two more weekly check-ins, as you guys can see, for week three and week four, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the normal weekly check-in from the 15th until 21st, which is my week three check-in. And then I think my next weekly check-in is just going to be my result video. So... Let's go ahead and get started. So for this week, we are counting from the 15th, which was a Saturday, until the 21st, which was a Friday. And as you guys can see, I did have a couple of inputs. And most of the inputs that happened before I left to Peru, I left to Peru the 19th. So I do have a couple of inputs here. So we're going to go ahead and write these out. So my first category, we have eating out. Okay, so for eating out, we have a couple of entries. As you guys can see, there's nothing on the 15th, so we're just going to go ahead and go based off of these. So we do have, we did go to Target, and that was 1926. But 1926. And the other only eating out entry would be the nugget. This was my last day of my undergrad and me and my friends Alicia and Salvador actually went to the nugget and got a beer just to celebrate that we were basically done with our finals and with the semester. So that together is 27.26. What I got and I had remaining 83.53. So I still have remaining 56.27. So that's a pretty great amount to have left over just because even if I still was counting both of the weeks, that is a pretty good amount to have. So my next amount is gas. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I didn't put gas this week because I already put gas on the 14th. And that was enough before I left for Peru. So we're gonna go ahead and sorry, I just checked off the eating out. So we're gonna go ahead and just put zero because we didn't get any gas. And that just stays at under 83 cents. Next we have shopping. And for shopping, I did do I did have some entries and I did have 77.24 left for that. So so the entries for shopping were a couple. So on Sunday, I did go with Paul to Michael's. We actually went to a couple of places. Went to Michael's, Target, Sally's. So at Michael's, I bought some twine so I could be able to wrap my presents. If you guys have seen my Vlogmas videos, I do have a wrap with me um, section in one of my videos. So you guys should definitely check it out. I went ahead and used that twine that I bought at Michael's. So that was $1.64. Then later, I did go to Sally's and I bought a huge supply of hair dye and developer to last me until end of my stay here in Peru. So that was 42, 26. And then last but not least, on Monday the 17th, I went to get my nails done at number one nail. And it actually was more than this, but my boyfriend did end up giving me $40 to get my nails done. So I just went ahead and paid for the difference, which was $10 more dollars. And I just gave them a tip of $9. So that was plus 19. So altogether, my expenses for shopping this week totaled to $62.90. So I'm going to go ahead and put $62.90. And I did have, like I said, 77.24 left over. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from that. And that leaves me still with $14.34. Which is 
which is great. Then after I do, I do have a section for tracking unbudgeted items and unbudgeted expenses. And unfortunately, there was one unbudgeted expense this week, and it was for my new phone. And it, I probably showed it a little bit. But I did get a new phone, as you can see. I'm sorry for the glare. And this is a case that my cousin actually um, gifted me here in Peru. Super, super cute. But I did get a new phone because I've been talking about this since the beginning of my December monthly budget. If you guys have not checked that video, I'll go ahead and do so. But I did mention that I wanted to go ahead and get a new phone just because I was basically done paying off my older phone and I wanted to go ahead and gift it to either my aunt or my grandma and they would obviously help me pay for that. So I do have an unbudgeted expense for my new phone and I actually did, if you guys are wondering, get that XS Max which is the most expensive iPhone that they have right now. I didn't get the most expensive amount of gigs but it is a pretty expensive phone. So. For the unbudgeted amount, I spent 104 with 64 cents. And this was only the amount that I had to pay out of pocket because the rest, my boyfriend actually did end up gifting me so I could be able to pay for the down payment, the taxes, all of that of the phone. And that was just another Christmas present because he did give me the silhouette as well. So I only had to pay 104 with 64 cents. So that was very, very nice of him, and I'm really thankful for that. And I'm loving the new phone, if you guys are wondering. It's kind of different, but I got the hang of it pretty fast. And I don't budget the unbudgeted category. So I'm going to go ahead and just write in a red pen, because I did go over this. By 104 with 64 cents, okay? And that is pretty much it for the weekly check-in. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys to the pages I usually do um, just because I know some of you guys like to see this. So I do have a sinking funds page that I actually film every single month. So if you guys would like to check it out, you guys can do so. And as you guys can see, this is a transaction log. I'm just looking at it right now, but I actually have not updated it. But I will have it updated by the results video because I do think I did show you guys this last week but obviously all of my Christmas money and all of my pro trip money is basically gone um, so you guys will see that all in the results video so I think that's pretty much all that I'm going to be showing you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's kind of a different setup and this video is probably going to go up super late so I'm super super sorry about that but I will try to get the next video up as soon as I can, I will be getting up my January budget, sinking funds video, and all of that good stuff. I do plan on also using cash clips eventually when I get back to California. So I think I won't be implementing those in January, but I definitely will be implementing those in February. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. Let me know what kind of categories you have in your cash clips. I, I do have some in mind, but I would like to know what others have as their cash clips. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Angels, we have heard on her Sweetly singing all the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing the